Hello, and thanks for joining me on this episode of Simply Saturday, where I get to show you a card that is fast and easy to make. My name is Julie, and this is Stamp with Julie Baum. Today, we're gonna to be making this beautiful card in a variety of blues, and we're going to be using a new stamp, new designer series paper, and also a new die. So let's get started. You're going to need a couple of pieces of cardstock. I have started with a card base in Knight of Navy. This measures five and a half by eight and a half inches and I have scored it down the center at four and a quarter. The next thing is a piece of Boho Blue cardstock. This one is just trimmed down a tiny bit smaller. This piece measures four inches by five and a quarter. This panel is going to go right on the front you are already seeing how easy and fast this is going together. And then a piece of this designer series paper, and I've cut it down to three and three quarter inches by five inches, and it's going to get layered right on top. We're going to go ahead and assemble those layers. Aside from these three pieces, I do have two pieces of basic white cardstock. Both of them are the same size, and they are four and a quarter by five and a half inches. One we're going to actually do our stamping on and our die cutting and the other is going to be the white panel for the inside of the card. These products are some of the new items that are in the annual catalog that just came out not too long ago. I was away for a short amount of time, and so even though the catalog is about a month old now, uh, I am just getting a chance to play with some of the brand new items. All right, so there's our card base. You can see that the papers themselves already make for a beautiful and also quick card. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put the inside panel. This part of is optional. I do like to usually put a white panel on the inside of a card, um, but especially so if the cardstock base is a dark color. Um, if it's a light color, it's maybe not quite as necessary, but with this Knight of Navy base, I think it's quite necessary to put a white panel on the inside for your message, or even if you wanna do some stamping on the inside. For today's fast and easy card, we're just going to leave it plain. Okay, now I'm gonna take the other piece of white cardstock that I mentioned. I am using a tool. This is not a Stampin' Up! tool, um, but I will put a link to this item below in the description area of this video. Um, today I'm using a Misty. Stampin' Up! previously had a wonderful tool. Um, that we no longer are offering. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you my process with the Misty. But if you do have a Stamparatus, that wonderful little tool will work just as well. All right, so I've already positioned my stamp here on the acrylic plate. So it is already in position to do my stamping. I'm also going to, let's see, I'm gonna flip this because I think it'll be easier to see on camera, like so. All right, so I'm going to take my Boho Blue ink pad and ink up my stamp. I realize that light is a little reflective here, but in just a moment, that won't be quite so annoying. All right, so I've inked my stamp image there. Now I'm going to reposition this in the direction that I want to use it in. I'm going to take my cardstock and place it right here and use one of these extra strong magnets just to hold the paper in place. Then I'm going to bring this plate down and go ahead and stamp my image. And you can just press it with your fingers, but another little tool that is a non-stampin' up tool that is helpful is this little device kind of looks like an air hockey handle, um, but it's become quite popular to use as a crafting aid. So for me and many others, this makes it easier to press that stamp down onto the paper without actually having to use pressure through your hands and your wrists. 
So I'm just rubbing this back and forth before I lift this up to see my stamped image. There you go, now you can see our lovely stamped image and it's ready to go. Now, let me mention, the name of this stamp is Cottage Corners, no, Countryside Corners. It's Countryside Corners. And the dies that coordinate are called the Countryside Corners dies. They look like this. I've already removed this one from the backing sheet because this is the one we're going to use. But let me show you how with this one stamped image and these multiple dies, you could cut this out in a bunch of different ways. So I think that's quite ingenious. So we're gonna be using this one. It is the um, fourth largest. So if you're going from the smallest to largest, this is the fourth largest. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is put this into my die cut machine and just run it through. Let me move my Misty out of the way for now. And then, as I mentioned, this is going to go through my stamp and cut and emboss machine. I have one already cut out so that we don't have to take the time to do, to do that, but I do want to show you that I'm gonna stamp my words right here in the center using Knight of Navy. And this little um, stamp, the words say just a note, and it is from a stamp set called Go To Greetings. I think this one is gonna come in quite handy. I've used it a number of times. You have all of your, um, pretty much your basic sayings in a variety of different fonts. Really cute. All right, so this is going to get stamped right here in the center, because we're making an all occasion card, just a, just a note card, <laughs> all right? So we have that, then as I said, this is gonna go on, run it through the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, and what we end up with is this. So I've just cut this from the stamped part, and all we're gonna do is attach it and do some embellishing. All right, here's our card front. Um, this would be very easy to just add your liquid glue and put it on flat. If you prefer to grab some Stampin' Dimensionals, which is what I'm gonna do this time. And I can hold this securely with, I think four would hold it, I'm gonna use five. I'm gonna use one in each corner, and then also one in the center, just so I don't get any sag. Okay, so we can release the backings of our Stampin' Dimensionals and then put this into place. I really love the combination of blues in this and I will show you the designer series paper that this paper came from. I need to stretch here and reach for it. Hold on one second. All right, it's a set of papers called Countryside Inn. It's a 12 by 12 pack of paper. And look at these lovely papers. And of course, on the back side, you can see subtle prints in all of those blue combinations. Very nice. Let's see if there's one more here. There we go. All right, so that's where I selected my paper from. Now we're just gonna embellish this to finish it up. Now I have a 10 inch length of ribbon. This is a retired ribbon. I believe it's Misty Moonlight um, from, pri from previously when Misty Moonlight was one of our colors and of course now it's back. And then this is a twine with a blue, a white, and a silver, also retired. So you can either pull from some ribbons that you already have that will coordinate with this, or if you are going to need to buy ribbon, let me recommend 
Any of these three would be lovely choices. These are on page 143 of the catalog. There's a balmy blue and white that would match this paper and this card. Knight of Navy bordered ribbon would be lovely and Misty Moonlight with an inner braid ribbon would also make a great choice. So if you're needing some ribbon that would coordinate with this, I highly recommend those ribbons there in the catalog. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I haven't done this in a little while, but you've seen me do it a couple of different times. Um, I'm gonna make kind of what I call a shabby chic knot. So with my 10 inches, I'm gonna fold this in half and cut it, because I want four pieces that are five inches long. All right, so there's my four pieces. Then I'm just going to tie a simple knot. I needed the 10 inches cut in half to the five just to make this manageable. You really don't need that much length, so if you can get by with less, then I recommend it. Um, but to make this easy and on camera, I wanted to have plenty of length to tie my knot for you. All right, so then once you've got it tied, you can see how this just ends up kind of shabby but cute. What I'm gonna do is trim up the ends and then attach this with a glue dot. And when I do my shabby knot here, I like to make sure that all of the ribbon pieces are different lengths. So you want some shorter, some longer, and just try to have them not the same. I think this one is gonna come down a little bit. All right, so see how those are different lengths? Actually, I'm gonna make this one a little bit shorter. And then same thing with the other side, a little trimming. This one can be longer. I'm gonna cut this one shorter. You just want to vary the lengths. All right, like so. Then with the help of a glue dot. And of course, once you get it onto the project, if you still need to do some trimming, you can take another look at it at that point. I'm gonna put this right up here at the top. See how this one's a little long? Let's cut that one down a teeny bit. My um, paper snips are a little bit sticky. They're sticking to my ribbon, so I'm gonna bring in some sharp um, fabric scissors that I have here, borrowing them from my sewing desk. There we go. Okay, and the last thing it needs is just a little bit of pop. Let's use these. These are a new addition to the catalog um, this year. These are the 2023 to 2025 in color dots. So I'm going to add three of these. And starting with the smallest one, see if I can get under it. So one here. Then I will take a medium dot. And go kind of wide over here. I'm kind of going for a little bit of a triangle shape, so I'm gonna put my largest and final one down here. Like so. And there we have our fast and easy card for Simply Saturday. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it for you. I'm gonna put a lot of information below this video in the drop down box. If you want to find that information, just click on the words that say show more and you will find shopping codes, um, a host code, you'll find shopping links. You'll also find all of the information about the products that I used today, as well as the dimensions. Thanks so much for stopping in and until next time, happy stamping.